Today, I was teaching the young people about followership because we have different types of followers. Sometimes there's a common belief that a follower is a weak person and a leader is so strong and does not have weaknesses. But we were looking at, at followership from a biblical perspective, that God has designed it that we have the leaders and we have followers, like in the time of Moses. Moses was a leader, but he also had followers. And when the followers tried to become leaders, there was a problem and God wasn't happy. Today, we, as much as we are giving the youth leadership skills, we also need to tell them that it is not a mistake to be a follower. And so we were looking at different types of followers and we referred from the book of uh, Hebrews 13, verse 17, which tells us to obey our leaders. But we were also looking at a model by Kerry which was developed in 1988, the model of followership. And we discovered there are, are different types of followers from passive, conformist, the alienated, the exemplary, and even the pragmatic, who is a survivor. We were teaching the youth or this, the participants the skills of, of being a follower or even understanding why they need to know much about followership because Many at times when people don't know what position they are in or what they should do in certain situations, some tend to be passive followers who are like a sheep. Even as a follower, as you work as a subordinate in any organization, it's good to know your position and know your role as a follower. A follower should also have that independent thinking and critical thinking so that they are able to make informed decisions which they are not going to regret later and not also affect others.